Well guys, uh, we've just arrived. Liam's driven his lovely truck here um, to uh, a, a lovely hardwood uh, forest here to meet a very, very special guest for the channel, uh, Mr. David Fryer. So I'm going to grab the camera and introduce you to him and yeah, show you a bit around this lovely woods that we've got here. So they don't spread out like that. A lot of them will go basically, they will turn up in like that. Yeah. So when you try and pull them out, they just shake them. Yeah, okay. Hi David. Hello mate. How are you? All good. David. Hello, Hello mate. You, mate. And you mate. So guys, this is David Fryers, um, really, really awesome maker, chap, and uh, just general bushcrafter as well. We've, uh, I've seen your work all over Instagram for years, and you know, appreciate it, mate. And, uh, yeah, it's just really, really good to finally be here and in uh, Fryers, Fryers Wood. Yeah, have a Fryers camp. Wood. It's, no, it's, it's, it's good to have you guys there. Um, hopefully, we have a good 24 hours, and yeah. the weather stays nice. And yeah. <laughs> we'll sit around the fire, have a chat, and just I think it's enjoy. Really awesome. Absolutely, and, and as Liam said, I've followed you on Instagram for years, and just you watch your adventures and what you've been up to. So it's yeah, really nice to actually finally meet you in person. It's nice to hear that feedback because you say I just put them up, yeah, you know what I mean. But when people say nice things about the yeah. channel, it's like, oh, yeah, it's worth doing. You know what I mean? <laughs> we always talk about your little hits and stuff, and I'll. I'll uh, have a little chat with you guys about David's stuff a little bit later. But yeah, thank you so much for having us here, buddy. No, oh, be quite yeah, playing host. <laughs> <laughs> so guys, this is uh, David's sleep setup. This is an outhouse swag, absolutely mammoth piece of kit. Awesome. Once you see it all set up, yeah, and then inside it's like you just want to get in. It's the best night's sleep. It looks sleep, so cosy. Can I feel the camera? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's thick. <laughs> they call me Canvas Man when I'm uh, doing courses because I, I always arrive with Canvas gear. So they've got like a little theme tune for me, They're like Canvas Man. <laughs> This is David's swag, uh, swag bag, sort of swag tent, made by Outhouse. It's a lovely bit of kit, a real sort of mecca of comfort in there. It's, it's making me very jealous. I want to, I want to have one. <laughs>
even the lighting process, it takes time. You can't mm. just light it. Of course, light. Yeah, then, you, then it, you know, it takes the time to get into it, and it gets nice. That's the thing, I just find it such a relaxing process. It's like, it's just and the it. taste. And it's just that it's get, that makes you sit back and, uh, you know, relax. You know, it makes you sit there and think to yourself, as you're going to take me, you know, I'm not going to smoke you too close, it's going to take a you know, time to smoke. Half an hour, probably. Yeah, well, if I'm doing something, put it in. It's like building a little campfire. <laughs> so what have I done? Yeah, what have I done? Well, I remember, and you're like, we got, we got one more tin each, and we don't need it. And it, and I was like, yeah, but it is my birthday. <laughs> 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 They're they're really well, they were weren't they? And they really did. They were <laughs> really strong, and they just both of us were like, "I regret that." Fired. It reduces the oxygen. The whole pot goes black, and they add oxygen back into the kiln, and then only the bits that didn't have that. Well guys, it seems fitting that while we're camping with Dave Fryers, we use some of Dave's kit. So this is one of his really lovely pocket pouches, and. Basically all I've done here is fill it with all the things I had in my Fjall Raven trousers. So I have one of these uh, Tindar wicks, uh, which is great for fire lighting. I have a Zippo lighter, not a Zippo, a, a Bic lighter, which is always in my pocket. Uh, some birch bark, which again, I always have some in my pocket. A hand sanitizer and some lip balm. And this stuff always lives in my Fjall Ravens. So having a little tidier, a little organiser that's made to a really high standard and high quality is a, a real uh, benefit to just keeping yourself organised and so you're not losing things when you're outside. So yeah, fantastic bit of kit. Uh, got a few things from Dave, picked them up. Um, so I'll show you some of his amazing craft work and uh, I'll leave his link to his Etsy store down in the description and please do go and check it out because I think uh, it's amazing British uh, craftsmanship and something that will benefit a lot of you. So yeah, please do go and check it out. Uh, lovely bit of kit and uh, it's going to stop me losing stuff because I'm always misplacing things. So I showed you the little pocket pouch that we picked up off David. These are two of his other products that he makes for his Etsy store. Um, this is a lovely sort of possibles organizer. Um, really nice. I can see this being very useful for my pipe, uh, my pipe kit or a fire kit. Haven't decided uh, whether it's gonna be a fire kit or for, for pipes or even a, a nice hygiene kit. And then we got this amazingly heavy duty mill spec mesh. Uh, and this would be perfect for a, like a, a nesting cup set with a Nalgene. Um, but I'm already, my mind is just like running with the ideas and possibilities that this material could, uh, could provide. So a mesh like this, you could use it um, you could use it for, for straining out like the fruit uh, to make like a hawthorn fruit leather. Um, you could use it for leaching tannins out of uh, whatever you need to leach tannins out of. Uh, so yeah, there's so many uses for this. A food bag would be great because it, it wouldn't hold on to the smell because it would be a, a able to air. Um, just so many uses and I'm sure I'll think of a million more uses for these um, as the night goes on. But yeah, some, some lovely kit that I picked up off David and uh, I, I'm really, yeah, uh, honestly uh, really impressed with the craftsmanship. It, it's, it's second to none, it's beautiful. Um, so we're just chilling out. We've, we've uh, never actually met David before, so it's been really nice just to, to get to know him and, uh, and sort of share stories, share adventures, and, and yeah, it's, we, we, all, we all have a sort of similar um, perspective on the outdoors and, and how good it is to, to get outside and clear your head and, and just um, practice skills. So it's been, been lovely. Uh, we've got a lovely fire going with some nice ash and uh, yeah, we're just gonna settle around the fire, a few beers, uh, 
Dave's actually a pipe smoker as well, so that's been really enjoyable. Uh, I've never actually shared a pipe with another pipe smoker before, so it's been a, a really nice, nice afternoon. And uh, yeah, we've literally the hours have just slipped by because we've just been chatting away and um, and having a, a really, really nice time. Right, enough waffling. Uh, I'm going to get back and warm up by that fire. still following the right bearing for an another few hundred yards it was only when I realized that we were starting to incline um, that something was up and I was just like wait hang a second um, when I when I rechecked I was like oh bloody hell we're like on the path up halfway up Scarfell but if I hadn't have made that mistake you know been so rigorous and checking as well I'd have easily got caught out what are they Tom we have rib and brisket burgers today. Oh, yeah. Might be fine. <laughs> We've got some cheese as well, which you're welcome to share in Dave. I like the cheese, it's really nice. There's all the times that you know I've come in from work. I just have a couple of crackers and cheese and tomatoes yes. and stuff. Just a few, just keep it going before dinner. So much better. Yeah. We're used to be like, we'd be camping and we'd be like, it's only five. Oh, it's no. been dark for hours. <laughs> <laughs> well, guys, dinner is served. Rib and brisket burger, cheese, salad, barbecue sauce, and a really nice spicy hot sauce. So I'm going to enjoy this. And then, yeah, we'll probably just chill and chat around the fire for a little bit longer before getting a nice sleep in our lavus really nice evening so far and I'm getting a bit peckish so I can't wait to tuck into this Really good. No, it's been really relaxing, nice. isn't it? It's really chill. Yeah. And that sauce is good as well. Really, really nice. getting it, 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 yeah. Comes in later uh -huh. on. Huh? <laughs> it comes in waves. <laughs> <laughs> it does it. <laughs> mm. Mm. Good pick up on the burgers, Tom. That looks nice. I'll trust you again on choice. <laughs> I just wish I'd remembered the hogs pudding, eh? <laughs> Next time. So guys, that was a lovely evening. Uh, Dave's been an amazing host. Uh, he's really looked after us. And yeah, we had some lovely burgers over the fire. We've been looking at Dave's modular system, uh, which we'll talk a bit more about tomorrow, hopefully. And yeah, um, looking at his great craftsmanship. So do go and check out his Etsy store. It's really, really worthwhile going and having a look. He makes some great stuff. I'm gonna get in my lavu. I'm really tired. I'm ready for some sleep. I'm hoping that my um, therm rest will be fixed uh, because we obviously patched the visible hole in it um, uh, that resulted from a, a stray bit of flint uh, however it has already started to go down so I'm not particularly hopeful it makes me think there might be a second hole in it um, that is less visible uh, so either way I've got this wool top and another layer um, that are basically like wool blankets so I'm going to put them underneath me um, I've got my reindeer hide so I'm going to put that underneath me as well it's only a small one uh, just like a sit pad basically uh, but between that and my wall layers I should be pretty alright uh, for insulation underneath uh, if the thermorest does decide to deflate um, anyway I love staying the night in the lavu they are quite small they're quite tight quite cramped um, but I slept really well last night despite having no thermorest um, so yeah looking forward to this and uh, I'll bring you back in the morning 
I'm going to cook up some breakfast and just have a bit more time getting to know Dave and uh, yeah obviously it's always nice spending time with Liam um, so yeah I'll see you guys in the morning thanks for watching well morning guys um, slept really well it's uh, it's about 9 30 now um, slept all the way through the night uh, so we went to bed about midnight just chatted all, all evening and I literally just slept like a log I've just woken up now um, we didn't set alarms or anything it was nice to just have a lie in so yeah sleeping back was so comfy um, my thermos did deflate I'm, uh, yeah it's flat as a pancake now uh, but that's that's all right obviously there's a second hole in it somewhere so when I get back home I'll immerse it in some water and see where the bubbles come out and fix that with another patch kit. Um, that is the reality of trying to fix them rests in the field. Sometimes if there's a small hole, uh, you won't see it. So um, I'll fix that when I'm back home. I stayed nice and warm. I used my Swan Dry and my Reindeer Hide sit pad underneath me and uh, I, I was perfectly fine. And uh, as I said, I slept the whole way through the night. So it wasn't an issue at all. Um, Right, I'm going to get up and at them, uh, see the lads, and uh, get on with the day. Morning, guys. Morning. Good morning. How do we sleep? Very good. <laughs> nice. Really, really nice. Getting the coffee on, fire's going. Got to be done. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There we go. <laughs> the 
The box set. Box set. Box set. Box set. Box set. Box set. The box set. Yeah, that's a that's box. It's a great little find. Uh, it's becoming really like big in the bookshelf world now. We started this. I've got a chunk of it. I don't even know what shape it is. This is lunch and breakfast. Brunch fist. Brunch fist. So guys, we've got uh, a first course of some Polish bacon, some boksek. Um, this has quickly become my, my favorite sort of breakfast in the woods. You can just carry a block of it in and it's just so tasty. And uh, yeah, I've got a little McDonald's ketchup here. And I'm just gonna, you know, slather it on and have a nice bacon sarnie. And that looks pretty good to me. Cheers, fellas. Cheers. Cheers. Bacon cheers. Yeah, definitely. That's great. That's really nice. I didn't put any sauces in mine, it just tastes nice and so it's just with like that sort of caramelised bit of the pan. Yeah, it's got that sweetness to it, doesn't mm. it? Yeah. As an advocate for healthy living, I have made fried bread in the bacon grease uh, to go with my pipe smoking and caffeinated coffee. <laughs> <laughs> Well guys, course number two for breakfast. I've got some bacon fat fried bread. So lovely fried bread done in bacon grease, sausages, and a bit of box sec and some tomato ketchup. I'm gonna absolutely love this. This is gonna be delicious and keep me going for the rest of the day. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna tuck in. Holy smokes. Oh, that fried bread in the bacon grease is absolutely delicious, guys. I can't even, I can't have words really for just how amazing that is. I mean, this is not good for you, and I would not eat this very often, but it's good. Well, that was a delicious breakfast. The uh, sleeping bag's been airing out for a little while, so I'm gonna actually put it away now because it's pretty dry. And uh, just start packing away my sleeping gear. So when it is time to leave in a, in a little while, um, we're not scrambling around trying to pack everything all at once. Um, I often do that if I find like a five minute little gap between the task I'm doing. I'll just put my sleeping bag away. Next five minute gap, I'll roll up a my roll mat or my thermo rest and then by the time it is actually time to leave all I normally have left to put away is just a shelter and it's a yeah quite a good way of just being efficient with your use of time and uh, yeah just being organized at camp really because I don't need my sleeping bag out now it's dry um, little spider there um, I don't need any of this stuff out anymore so I might as well put it away
Yeah, that didn't survive, did it? <laughs> That is flat as a pancake. Flat as a dodo under a tractor. Very annoying. So Tom's very kindly lent me his lovely, beautiful field and steel knife by Steve Armstrong. Really, really nice design. It's got this lovely, is it G10? Yep. Yeah, G10 handle and this kind of chipped rock pattern. It's so, feels so nice in the hand. I keep thinking this would be a really nice knife for like deer stalking. Yeah. Really, really nice. So I'm just going to give it a go batten in on this lovely bit of ash here. That's solid. <laughs> I love that. That's brilliant, Tom. Gets through it, doesn't it? It does. Is that five mil thick? Yeah, five mil. Really nice. No, but especially if you want to go a little bit lightweight, don't you know? They're just brilliant. You know, I mean, yeah. For Tom's like lunches and then like my bushcraft breakfast, yes. um, perfect. Yeah, I do. I, I love the, the fire. Right? Yeah. 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 That's a bit fruity, isn't it? Nice, isn't it? Good, isn't it? It's like tutti frutti of pipe tobacco. <laughs> yeah, that's nice. Mm. So I bought both of them together because uh, I've never had them before. I died. You know, it's not a good choice. I got. No, now I know. I buy them again. Yeah. Uh, you probably enjoyed Connors's cho uh, choice by Peterson. Yeah, oh, I, I get that. I did see that. That's sort of like it's got a little bit of rum. Sort of. It's quite sweet, a bit caramelly. Oh yeah, it's almost nice. Yeah, yeah. Mm. I saw someone lunting, so walking with the pipe, and I was just like, "Why don't I have my pipe?" <laughs> <laughs> Did you do like that thing, like you know, wave to each other? There was a bloke, I remember one year I was at the gathering and I had a pipe and we sort of in the social area. And there was a guy having a pipe as well and we sort of done that little. Go and look at each other. But I won't go out and buy it. It's like you and your pipes, so I've done four pipes and uh, you've got how many pipes? Drive my <laughs> other half up the wall. <laughs> up the pipe. I just, I like, with things that I'm really impassionate about, so knives, axes, rucksacks to a point, but I've sort of not bought a rucksack in a couple of years. It's just kept, it's just kept, it's just kept, yeah, it's just kept. Like, for you, your knives, none of, you might have similar variations of knives, or similar woodwards, but they're all actually different. different. And to me, they all have tasks, a place. Different finishes, different widths, thicknesses. I rotate them grinds. all as well. Yeah. They all get used. Yeah. They might not all be in my videos, but they're all being used because I use a knife every day. Yeah. It's like an SE, you know, you could have an SE, I've got an SE4, you know, uh, I've always wanted one. But I can now straight away see what you'd want an SE5 or an SE6. See, I've always fancied an SE5. Yeah. SE5. Because it buys the Beck and BK2, but it's just a better version. Yeah. Will it surprise you to know that I have one of those? Well, five. Yeah. <laughs> and a six. And a six. <laughs> and a four. And a four. <laughs> and a PR four. And a four HM. And an Azula. Really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Tom's bought a house and nice. Um, you could have bought a house. I'm going to have to cut that because Emma's going to watch it and she'll be like, you're selling something. Like an Azula as well, boy. What is this Azula? Yeah. <laughs>
So guys, this is another one of uh, Dave's pouches. And in here, I keep my technology. So I've got my charger for my batteries for my camera. I have two charge packs and a phone charger as well. So this just keeps all the cables in one place, stops me losing them. And yeah, really nice bit of kit. I keep that in my haversack. And yeah, just keeps all the technology in one place, makes it nice and easy for filming my videos. Well, David, it's about that time. Oh, Thank you so much for having us, mate. No, it's been a pleasure. No, it's, been, been it's been so nice just to be in this beautiful woodland. Uh, we got to interview you yesterday for our Woodsman podcast. That so, was fun, that was fun. Yeah, that. just having a chat around a fire, and it was great to hear how you started your little Etsy store yeah. and how you built the sort of concept of your modular system. So wait for that episode on the Woodsman. Check it out on Spotify and all of those places, Anchor, iTunes. And yeah, uh, we've got a really good one coming with Dave here. So also please do check out Dave Fryers on Instagram, YouTube, Etsy. It's, uh, that's it. And that's it. <laughs> <laughs> um, he makes some fantastic products. We both pick some up from him and they're just brilliant. It's going to really help me be organized in the woods. So uh, don't hesitate, go and check him out. And, um, and yeah, hopefully stay tuned for the next video uh, from me. There'll be lots more coming in the future. And uh, thanks for watching. Thanks again, mate. Oh, it's been a pleasure. Yeah. See you soon. <laughs> <laughs>